Let's find the oxidation number for the carbon here in Cf2Cl2, dichlorodifluoromethane. So the first thing to note, we don't have a negative or a positive. So this is going to be a neutral compound. When we have a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So that's useful. Next, we don't know the oxidation state here for the carbon. Let's call that X. But fluorine, fluorine is always negative one. So each fluorine is going to be negative one. And then chlorine, chlorine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It's going to be negative one, except in a few instances where it's bonded to oxygen here or fluorine. Because the chlorine is bonded to carbon, it's going to be negative one. So each chlorine will have an oxidation number of negative one. So we could just set an equation up. Let's say x minus one times two, since we have two of the fluorines, plus minus one times two, all of that equals zero, since it's a neutral compound. So x minus two plus minus two is minus four. x minus four equals zero. So x is going to equal a positive four. So the oxidation number on the carbon in Cf2Cl2, dichlorodifluoromethane, that's going to be positive four. And if you add these up, we have two times negative one, two times negative one. So that's negative four, positive four. It all adds up to zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for the carbon here in Cf2Cl2. Thanks for watching.